This is a beautifully engineered Stirling engine which has been built to operate a fan which I am going to give to my family who have a wood burning stove and the heat from the top of the stove will start the engine and the fan will distribute the sort of trapped air, warm air from the alcove. The greater the heat, then the faster the speed of the engine. And um, this is standing on my uh, electric cooker plate, which is simulating simulating the top of the uh, of the of the stove of the wood burning stove. And I will let my cousin Brian describe the uh, workings of a uh, Stirling engine. His is a slightly different model, but all Stirling engines work in exactly the same way. So he will describe to you um, how the thing works. Goodbye. Right, hello, my name's Brian Betts. I'm Peter's cousin. Um, and uh, we spend many an hour chatting on Skype, and we've got some very, uh, uh, we have many interests in common. And one thing that's recently cropped up that we were interested in were Stirling engines. Now, if you don't know what a Stirling engine is, um, here's one here. It's a very small one, and the principle was invented by the Reverend Stirling in 1816. And it's basically a differential temperature engine. It just relies on uh, two different uh, temperature gradients, and uh, that's what drives the engine. Uh, right, let me explain the principle. Um, it, it, there are two uh, essential parts. There's a small piston which drives the flywheel, and there is a displacer at the bottom in the enclosed section at the bottom. So if we start with a piston at the top, most of the air, in fact all, almost all of the air, is at the bottom of the lower section. So when the heat's applied, the air expands and it drives the piston up. Now, because it's geared out of phase, as the piston goes up, the displacer goes down. And at this stage, the air or most of the air, is at the top. Now, the, the previously warm air at the top then cools down off the top plate. It creates a partial vacuum, which sucks the piston down again, which lifts the displacer, and so the host, whole cycle starts again. Warm air pushes the piston up. Displacer pushes the air to the top, which cools and the piston comes down again. So it's just a cycle uh, which operates in that way. Now, we can actually demonstrate that, if you give me a moment. If we give it a source of heat, that's a, such as a cup of tea, some hot water, it warms the bottom plate, and it, set, it sets the piston in motion and the displacer does the trick by transferring the air up and down in the lower chamber so it alternately warms and cools. That's basically the way it works. <laughs>